Welcome to a new smart money video on what an entrepreneur study. This video is all about what to study as an entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur, you need to be well-rounded. You need to be able to lead people of many different disciplines and abilities in order to create a successful and thriving business. To increase your chances of success, this video is going to highlight different courses from a multidisciplinary approach on what to study as an entrepreneur. And then I will go through what the most important thing to do as an entrepreneur is with regards to study and learning. So as I mentioned, a multidisciplinary approach is what is required to be a successful entrepreneur. Now, in designing a course, and this could be a course that you are going to do formally at college or university, or perhaps this is a course that you are going to put together from multiple different places to further your own education so that you are able to succeed as an entrepreneur. There are three critical elements that you need to be able to cover. Number one, it's the creative side. Number two, it's the technical side. And number three, it is the people side, as well as some hard and fast foundations that we all need that fit underneath these three pillars that enable us to succeed as entrepreneurs. The first pillar is the creative. And under the creative, we have things like art, as well as music, language, and the like. The purpose of the creative pillar is that it enables us to access a different part of the brain where we come up with ideas, where we see things in a different way, a non-linear, non-logical, non-technical manner. This is critical as an entrepreneur because you're going to be inventing things, products, services, teams, and therefore you need to be a highly creative individual. Now creativity is born to some degree, but it is also cultivated. So take some courses which cultivate creativity and challenge you so that you're able to be even more creative. The next pillar is the technical. And under here we have what you would expect, things like maths, accountancy, statistics, engineering. Now you don't need to take all of these courses, but rather you need to take some of them to ensure that you have an ability to approach things in a methodical, linear, step-by-step -step way. That's why the technical pillar is so important. If the creative side is about being able to go in a non-linear way, round and round and invent things, combine things that were never meant to be together to combine them successfully, the technical side is about then taking an idea, being able to break it down into different steps and processes and execute it logically one after the other towards success. And therefore, a good solid technical training for your mind is of vital importance. Now, some of those skills such as maths, accountancy and engineering will help you design specific products or deliver on certain services. So choose carefully around what you're passionate about and perhaps what your business idea is if you already have it so that you can choose technical courses which would enable you to contribute towards the solution that needs to be created for the business. The third pillar is people. And fundamentally, people and studying about people, you need to look at things like management as well as sociology or perhaps even history because really it is about understanding what makes people tick. It is about understanding how to lead them as well as how to manage them. And so a course in management could be helpful. But nonetheless, you cannot neglect the people pillar. No matter how creative you are, no matter how technical brilliant you are, if you don't have the people pillar, you are ultimately going to be limiting the potential success that you are able to have as an entrepreneur because you really need to be able to multiply your vision through others. You need to be able to bring others along the journey. And so that's why studying people and disciplines about people, perhaps even psychology, is really important. What are the fundamentals or the foundations that you need to have that these three pillars stand on? The first foundation is some sort of business accounting. And this is really important because business accounting will enable you to understand what an income statement is, what a balance sheet is, as well as what a statement of cash flow is and even a projection of cash flow. This is critical. I recently did a video on how to shock proof your business. It was all about cash flow and forecasting cash flow projections. Why is that so important? Because when you look out into the future and you see what your cash situation is, 
a business can then know whether it needs to take steps now in order to ensure a successful future or if it is on a good path and that there will be enough cash in the business to do all that is required. There are two more fundamentals that I believe are really important for anyone looking to study entrepreneurship and that is computer science and sales. Now you might say surely computer science fits into the technical bucket and sales would fit into um, maybe the people bucket or something like that. I would rather say they're foundational and you need to do them no matter what. And the reason for that is in today's age, computer science and having a leg up in the area of digital computers, how they function, work and how to utilize them to maximize your productivity and returns is essential. And for sales, if you cannot sell, you don't have a product. Ultimately, you're selling all the time. You need to sell your idea to others so that they join the firm, so they join you on this adventure. You need to sell to potential clients. You need to sell to investors. You need to sell, sell, sell. And therefore, sales is a critical component of what to study when becoming an entrepreneur. If you're enjoying this video so far, please like the video. It really helps as YouTube sees engagement with the video. It knows that the content is legitimate and it is about the topic. And so we're almost at the end of this video and I want to mention two things that are critical that I mentioned up front that are absolutely essential. They're not courses, but they're an approach. And the first one is continuous learning. Learning does not end when we leave school, or university or college. Learning is a lifelong pursuit. And as we continue to learn, we continue to increase our chances of success. Our failures can teach us, our successes can teach us, books can teach us, other people can teach us. There are so many sources to learn from. And so as an entrepreneur, you will find learning is one of the most valuable tools you have to enable success. And lastly, don't leave the information in your head. Practice, do it, start a side hustle, start another business, do something, even if it's small, to put what you're learning into practice. This is going to connect the dots. It's going to help you understand in a way that a textbook, a teacher, a mentor, a colleague or friend could never teach you. The doing of something ultimately is the proof of the pudding. It's where the rubber meets the road and you see if what you've learned is able to help you succeed or if there are still gaps that you need to close. And so I call this the practice learning loop. And what that means is you practice, you find the gaps, you learn some more, and then you practice. And you find the gaps and you learn some more. And you continue in this loop until you are competent and have mastery in a particular area that you want to succeed in. So thank you for watching a new Smart Money video. Please do remember to subscribe to the channel so that you can continue to get more videos like this and be alerted when they become available. And if you found this useful and helpful, share it with someone who might benefit. Thank you.